up everyone my name is Abby I like to read and I feel like I just made this video for June but now I'm making it for July time is weird so today I'm gonna to be talking about my most anticipated YA releases for the month of July and um, I'm gonna post the whole Goodreads list down below if you wanted to see it because I don't talk about every single book on that list and so if I don't mention a book that you were really excited about I'm sorry, I just went through and, and picked the books that I was most excited about. Um, so let's get started. Before I get started, if any of you like work in publishing or know about that, let me know in the comments why books always come out on the same day. Because most of these dates have at least two books on them. And so, like, it is why is that a thing? Why do authors or publishers want books to come out on the same day? Wouldn't you want to spread it out? Because I feel like someone wouldn't want to spend their money all at once. So, like, spread it out. Let me know, because I don't know. And that's interesting. So, I will talk about the sequels first. The first date is July 7th. There are two sequels on this list. There are a bunch of other books. Just get ready for that. But there are two sequels on July 7th. The first one is The Crow Rider by Kaylin Josephson. This is the second book in the Storm Crow series, the first book being The Storm Crow. And I haven't read this book. I haven't read any of the um, books on my sequels list, but I went and like read the description of the first book of each one. And the ones that I picked, they sound super interesting. So I think I might have to pick up the first book so then I can read the second one when it comes out in July. So the Storm Crow is about a girl named Thea and Thea's sister, Kaliza, Kaliza, is running the kingdom after their mom died and her sister is forced to agree to a arranged marriage between Thea and the crown prince of somewhere else. And... Thea isn't too thrilled about this and so she goes and she finds a hidden crow egg and somehow this is going to help in the situation. I'm not sure how but I kind of want to find out. The second sequel coming out July 7th is Unravel the Dusk. This is the second book in the Blood of the Stars series and it is by Elizabeth Lim. The first book is Spin the Dawn, and I'd seen this book around, but I never really read the description. And the first line of it says, Project Runway meets Mulan. And that sounds amazing right there. Like, who would not want to read that? This is about a girl named Maya. I think that's how it's pronounced. M-A-I-A. -I, I never knew how to pronounce that. Maya, Maya, my May. I'm so sorry. But she wants to be a tailor, and her dad is summoned by a royal messenger and he is very sick and so she decides to dress up as a boy and go in his place very mulan-esque and she is competing with 11 other tailors in order to design a gown for the emperor's bride the last sequel that i have on this list is coming out july 28th and that is the faithless hawk by margaret owen this is the sequel to the merciful crow which i've seen this around quite a bit but once again I never really read the description. This book is about a future chieftain, a fugitive prince, and a too cunning bodyguard. And kind of seems like there's going to be a love triangle there, so not bummed about that. But I mean, maybe not. I haven't read the book, so I shouldn't make judgments right off the bat. But it sounds really good, and I definitely want to pick this one up and then read the one that's coming out in July. So that was it for the sequels. So now moving on to the non-sequels. <laughs> The first batch of books are coming out July 7th. There are four of them. That's a popular day. Watch out for that day. Lots of stuff is happening. But the first book is The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning. This kind of sounds like, and I've seen this said somewhere else, it's like a retelling of The Princess Bride. I don't know if it's like officially a retelling of that, but that's what it kind of sounds like. It's about a girl named Amarandi. Amarand. Once again, I am bad with names. And she is a princess, and when her father dies, she is told that she needs to either marry someone from a different kingdom, or she has to give up her crown. And in order to persuade her, the stable boy that she loves is kidnapped, and she decides that she is going to go on a quest to save him. So it sounds very Princess Bride-esque, which I like that movie, so that should be fun. 
the next book coming out July 7th is All These Monsters by Amy Santera. This book is about a 17 year old girl named Clara and she lives with an abusive father and she finally decides I'm gonna fight back and so she leaves and joins an international monster fighting squad so that sounds pretty kick-ass. The next book coming out July 7th is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. This is a book where Cinderella has been dead for 200 years and now all of the girls are required to go to this ball where suitors will either pick them out or if they're not chosen, they're never seen from again. So this is about a girl named Sophie where she has to go to this ball but she would much rather marry her childhood best friend, Erin. Um, and so she decides to escape and she ends up at Cinderella's mausoleum where she meets a girl named Constance and they try to defeat the system and that sounds amazing. The last book I have here that comes out July 7th is actually a book that I am currently reading and I think this actually was one of the books that was pushed back. So I think that it was originally an earlier date but then they pushed it back to July. I think so. But that is Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Bouchardust. Like I said, I just started reading this and it's really good so far. It is about a girl named Soraya and her mother was cursed um, to where her firstborn daughter would be poisonous to the touch. And so that is Soraya. She's the firstborn daughter. And so she is poisonous. If anyone touches her, they die. And so she is kind of hidden away. They don't want people to know about it. And so as her brother's wedding approaches, she kind of has some conflict if she wants to escape and be free. And there is apparently a demon in the dungeon that has all the answers. And there is a guy who isn't afraid of her. So I think there's going to be a little love romance there. The next two books are coming out July 14th. The first one is, I think it's probably classified as contemporary. Um, there's no like magical fantasy aspects of it and I don't normally include these but I read the description and I thought it was really good. It's called He Must Like You by Danielle Young Ullman. And this is about a girl named Libby who was having a really tough time in her senior year of high school and um, her dad has just told her that he's not gonna pay for college and he's basically kicking her out after high school and she is constantly harassed by this guy at her job so finally she decides to dump a pitcher of liquid over his head, which don't we all dream of doing that? But he turns out to be pretty important, um, and so things happen, and that's what this book is about. So I think it sounds really interesting. One line that I really liked in the description, um, it says, He Must Like You is a story about consent, rage, and revenge, and the potential we all have to be better people. So I thought that sounded really interesting, so I think I might give it a try. The second book coming out on July 14th is The Extraordinaries by TJ Klune. This book sounds so cute and fun. It is a queer coming of age story about a fanboy with ADHD and the heroes he loves. So this is a book about Nick Bell, who is a boy who loves writing fanfiction and reading hero stories. And so he one day decides that he wants to be extraordinary and he enlists the help of his friend Seth, who may or may not be the love of his life. The last book that I have on this list is coming out July 21st, and I actually have an arc to this book, so I'm hopefully going to be reading this soon, and it sounds so amazing. I, when I talk about it, I always talk about the cover. I love the art on this cover, and that book is Shielded by Kaylin Flanders. This is about a girl named Jenna who wants nothing more than to fight for her kingdom, but her father decides to marry her off to someone from a neighboring kingdom. But on the way to her new home and her new husband, her caravan is ambushed and she finds out that the threat is much worse than what is rumored to be. And so she decides to fight for her kingdom. And it just sounds so good and I'm really excited to pick this one up. So those are all the books that I am most excited for coming out in July. Once again, I will leave that whole Goodreads list down below that has all the other ones that I did not mention. Um, let me know if there's a book on this list that you're excited for or if there's a book coming out in July that wasn't on the list that you're super excited for. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Cinderella's ma ma mausoleum. <laughs> What's that word? The next book coming out July 7th is Sir... Yeah, because I don't talk about every single list on that book. Every single list on that book? I swear, when I 
turn on the camera to film a video, he immediately goes to eat his bone that he has not touched all day. He's had this bone all day, but he only wants to chew on it when I don't want sound in the room.